In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get more gigs as a remote pilot. What's happening in Remote Pilot 101, M0A, Jason Schapper here. Don't be disappointed. I forgot my two watches today. What, what, would, what would Ken Heron say? I, I don't even know if this, this video should continue just based on that. Hey, I wanna share with you a little bit today. First off, thank you to Eric, to John, to Ray for doing those videos over the past few weeks. I was watching them to review them and learning things. Uh, just a smart, smart team we have here at M0A. Dot com. And I really wanted to kind of wrap this series here talking about ways to get gigs. And I want to start by asking you a question. What do you specialize in? What are your interests, your strengths, your passions? Because I don't want you to try to be all things to all people. Maybe you were watching uh, you know, Ray's video on some drone maneuvers or John's video on just getting my camera settings right. You say, man, photography is my thing. Real estate photography is a great way to dive into it. But you'll hear the naysayers say, oh, it's so saturated. Oh, there's so many people doing that. And they're right. It is an ultra competitive field to get into. But are you looking for a full-time gig? You can make that work. Or are you just looking for some weekend gigs, some going out to dinner money, some putting a pool in my yard kind of money, savings account, whatever that may be. Well, set your expectations to meet that as well. Um, if you're looking for full time, well, we can certainly talk about that. But if you're looking for some side gigs to generate some income, there's no shame in doing that. In fact, if you're doing it within your interest, right, there's so many options you can dive into. Remember Eric who did the video on his, uh, how he edits his aerial photography, his drone photography? He's super involved in public safety. You know, there's uh, agriculture, public safety, insurance, right? Dealing with its hurricane season after all. Real estate, like I mentioned. And you know what? I realize these are tough things to break into, but are you willing to do it pro bono, volunteer, and build your portfolio? Ask them to refer you, ask if you can use this footage, and build up that referral network. You know, in manned aviation, when I was a young uh, flight instructor, I remember being 18 years old and no one wanted to get in an airplane with me because they said I didn't look old enough to be a pilot. It was tough to get students who wanted to learn to fly with me. I was an airport bum. I'd hang out at the airport, I would sweep hangars, I would clean airplanes, I would do whatever it took to get a flight, a student, a maintenance flight, right? Those are always a little interesting. A plane comes fresh out of maintenance, I'll, I'll be the test pilot right? For getting gigs like this, you kind of got to be the squeaky wheel that gets the oil. You got to be going by that real estate office and, and talking. Maybe give a presentation to all the realtors there and show them uh, what you're capable of. Build that trailer, whatever that takes. It's, it's not going to fall in your lap. You're not going to post on your personal Facebook, I'm doing this now, and just be inundated. I mean, maybe you will, but more than likely, no, it's, gonna, it's still business at the end of the day. It's going to be putting one foot in front of the other, getting one referral, which leads to the next. A lot of volunteer work as you build up that portfolio. Here's my suggestion. Don't listen to the naysayers. Go with your passion. You know, almost 15 years ago when I told people I was going to teach people to fly on the internet, they told me I was crazy. The ground school was something you did in a, in a classroom. I said, no, I'm going to teach it on a camera and I'm going to deliver it via the internet. And everyone said, that, that, there's no way that can be done, right? Uh, I mean, we had maybe one or two competitors that were doing it on VHS tape. I said, no, the internet, I want to do it on the internet. And everyone said I was crazy. And your friends may tell you you're crazy that you think you're going to fly this drone and make money with it. And you know what? Crazy sometimes pays the bills. You got to be just a little bit crazy to get out there and do it, but it's not going to be easy. Put one foot in front of the other and go with what you're passionate about. Don't chase the money. Go with the passion and the money will follow with that. Hey, I want to read your comments below this video. What are some gigs you've been doing? What are some fields you want to break into? Maybe there can be some networking happening in the comments section of this video. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. Like and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see ya. Thank you for making Remote Pilot 101 the most used Part 107 test prep course on the market. The team here at Remote Pilot 101 has helped thousands of aspiring remote pilots, just like yourself, pass their Part 107 exam with a high score the first time. 
Visit remotepilot101.com to become a member for life and learn more.